Curls, it's gonna be like a long ass day because I'm not gonna actually go away, which I did not realize, and I'm so shook. So, for today's vlog, Mall Curls, this is technically part three ng transition journey, ko, which is actually my Barbie Arms update. And also, I'm gonna give you some pros and cons ng Barbie Arms, any experience, ko, any difference, some before and after pictures, and stuff like that. And also, in this video, I'm gonna be including my hair care routine, how I style my hair, what products I use for my hair. Like, even if my hair is bleached, it looks super healthy and shiny and straight. Hindi siya mukhang, hindi siya mukhang bulbul, ganun. Char hindi siya mukhang frizzy, hindi siya mukhang walis, yun. I'm gonna be teaching you what products I use. For this method, medyo high-end siya, but I'm still looking for products that will be more affordable that's perfect for colored hair. But for the meantime, mga curls, I'm gonna be sharing you my routine. And also today, pupunta din ako na alagang insyang kasi I'm also gonna get my arms checked if we can get a second session ng Barbie arms para mas lumiit pa, para mas Barbie barbihan pa, diba? Para pagdating na Valentine, Today, sa mga jowa natin, magpakalipis-lipisan tayo, di ba? Babe, ano ba? Like, I'm so delicate. Ganon. Parang maka-anime. Ganon. And I also heard meron din silang bagong beauty lounge, which I want to visit because my toenails is looking like ratchet. So, I'm gonna get that fixed. So, that's for today's agenda. Mag-aayos muna ako. I just woke up. I've been looking like trash. I know. Let's see what will happen today, bitch. So, I'll be right back. And also, mga girls, before I start my day, I just want to share the tea that I've been drinking. I've been drinking this tea which is the Teamy Blends Detox Tea. They have two variants here. They have the Teamy Skinny Tea. This one's like loose leaves and then you can like put it in a tumbler. And they also have here, this is the Teamy Colon. This has 15 tea bags. This one naman is in a form of a tea bag. I've been drinking this lately for my gut health. And they even have a 30-day program so that you can feel cleansed and healthier and detox from all the junk foods. Because honestly, I'm not the healthiest eater and I get too busy sometimes. And sometimes the stress makes me eat a lot. But I feel so much lighter, less bloated. I just feel more energized, especially today's gonna be a long day. And they even have this detox calendar so that you have a guide on what tea you should drink. It's either the skinny tea in the morning and then the colon tea at night or the days that you just have to drink skinny tea since i'm in day 21 it just says here skinny so i just have to drink the skinny tea today but there are days that i have to drink the skinny tea and then the colon tea just like yesterday which is january 20 so i have to drink the skinny tea in the morning and then the colon tea at night plus also malcross what's so nice about this the tea is reusable so once you have the tea inside your tumbler you can still reuse the tea so at least you don't need to throw away your tea until it loses its flavor so that's a plus also you can do it the same thing with the colon tea the tea bags you can reuse them so at least you don't need to be wasting too much tea i've been drinking this tea for almost like 20 days now i just feel super amazing more energetic i feel super lighter cleansed I just don't feel heavy and sluggish, you know what I mean? And I feel like I'm more productive whenever I drink tea, even though I don't have the most healthiest diet because I'm very busy. Also, Malcross, they have this tumbler which is really nice because it's really made for teas. All you have to do is just pour the tea in. There's a sifter dito. So whenever you're drinking the tea, you don't need to worry about the leaves getting in your mouth because it's being filtered from the strainer. And then you even have here a secret compartment if you want to put your tea in here or any supplements. I keep my tea in here, that's why there are some tea leaves in there. That's why I really love this tumbler as well. It's really nice. Also notice my other clothes na dati maliit sa akin. It fits me now. So lately I've been dressing up and I want to look cute. I look less bloated. If you're trying to pursue your New Year's resolution in looking fab this year, be sure to check out this Teamy Blends tea. Make sure you also get the skinny tea and the colon tea because it's really good. Overall gut health, you just feel amazing. And it feels good that you're doing something for yourself. Again, Gamal Curls, be sure to check out the Teamy Blends Detox tea. I'll be linking them down below. Alright mga girl, so I'm just in front of my mirror here. I like doing this in the floor. This is what I normally do, how I take care of my bleached hair. Because my hair is bleached, but it's so healthy. Niya. It doesn't look damaged. It, it even feels like a wig because it's so It can be very time-consuming, but it's really worth it because if you have bleached hair, it, your hair will feel super amazing and your hair will look super gorgeous. So what I normally do, I just first wet my hair. So step one, Mal Curls, let me wet my hair first. Alright, Mal Curls, so this is phase number one. I washed my hair. No shampoo, no conditioner, just wash your hair. Okay, so this is my hair. It's all washed. 
I know I look like a naked mole rat. I look like I'm gonna die. So the things you need after you wash your hair. Number one, you need two chukchas. I have this. Then you need a rat tail comb. Zerat tail comb. And then you need a wet brush. I recommend a wet brush because it works really well with wet hair and it doesn't rip off your hair, which that's my phobia. Lastly, you need this is Olaplex. I swear, if you're gonna get your hair colored or bleached, this is the number one thing you need. Like, make sure if you go to the salon and you have to have this even before going to the salon, just in case something goes wrong or whatever. I highly recommend this. This is Olaplex number three. This is the only. For me, I feel like this is the only product that can help heal dead hair or bleached hair. I know a lot of people say coconut oil or oil or whatever, but usually, ang kagandahan ng Olaplex, meron siyang proteins that will fix the hair mismo. Usually, kasi yung mga hair treatments na nakikita natin sa drugstore, they're just gonna make your hair shiny, but that's not gonna work inside the hair cuticle. It's just gonna make your hair smooth, pero that's just external. The nutrients is not penetrated sa hair mismo. Unlike Olaplex, it has a patent technology that it's actually gonna help heal the hair cuticles. So if your hair is bleached, our hair kasi pag bleach yan, bukas yung pores yun eh. So ang kagandahan ng Olaplex, it's gonna heal the hair, it's gonna close the pores ng hair, and it's gonna add protein sa hair so it's not gonna be gummy. Ngayon hindi na siya gummy oh. it's like strong na. My hair is not like rubber. It feels strong. So that's my number one product I would highly recommend if you're gonna get your hair bleached. Make sure you have nakahandang Olaplex. So what I normally do, I divide my hair in the center so that I get equal parts. And then I just section and section it. I work in sections because I get all the hair with Olaplex. This is the most bleached part there. This is my number one tip whenever you're gonna get your hair bleached or your hair dyed. Wag nyo iasa lagi lahat sa salon. I mean, magaling sila, that's their job, yeah. Pero when you get home, may aftercare pa yan eh. Kasi usually, ang mali na mga tao, whenever they go to the salon, they expect the hair that they have after the salon, ganun na siya lagi. Hindi lagi nandyan yung salon, di ba? Kasi may uuwi ka din, di ba? Depende din sa salon kung malayo yung salon. So, and then I'm just gonna brush my hair with a wet brush first, detangle it. You always have to have aftercare products whenever you you're gonna get your hair bleached or you're gonna get your hair dyed. Para naman maging long lasting yung color nyo and also your hair is gonna be healthy, it's not gonna die. After I do this first section, this is all my hair. I just put the Olaplex 3 in. Onti lang kasi it's very expensive and a little goes a long way naman eh. And then I just put it like that. I just put the Olaplex on hair. I normally focus on the parts na sobrang na bleach, which is my ends here, pero ayun. I swear, Olaplex, if you have bleached hair, it's gonna bring your hair back to life. Kasi pansin nyo, when your hair is bleached, parang it's so dry and parang it's like parang buntot ng kabayo or ganon. Like with Olaplex, it's gonna make your hair feel like it's a virgin. And also, dati, takot ako magpa-color ng hair kasi dati, hindi ako marunong mag-alaga ng bleached hair. Kasi sanay ako, Sanay ako dati na wash and go lang ako. Hindi pa magsha-shampoo lang ako, conditioner tapos. Kasi black hair lang eh. Super low maintenance ng black hair. But with blonde hair, kailangan, or with bleached hair, kailangan alagaan mo yan. Lagyan mo siya ng protein treatments, like Olaplex. Ayan. Okay. Let's apply it on the areas. You also want to focus on the ends of your hair kasi that's the part na talagang, alam mo yun, that's very damaged. So I just put it like that, and then I just brush the product through the hair. Ganyan. You'll feel right away how silky smooth your hair is. Sobra. In top parts naman, I don't need to put too much Olaplex kasi. I don't need to put too much Olaplex kasi. Hindi naman siya masyado na bleach. Yung ilalim talaga na bleach talaga yan. That's why I need to put a lot of Olaplex there. So you don't need to put a lot of Olaplex in all the sections, but if you want to, why not? Para mas healthy yung hair. You can already feel na wala siyang tangles. It's like super easy to comb. Ayan, I'm just gonna... And then I just usually do it like that. Like that, make sure every single strand has Olaplex. And then what I do... This will look so stupid, but don't judge me. This is how I do it. So I bring my hair all up. This section up like that. It's kind of hard, but alakas bak Harley Quinn, bitch. Once my hair is like that, I just literally tie it in a bun. Like, it doesn't have to be pantai. As long as you literally just have two buns in your head, 
you're fine. So now that I'm looking like Princess Layla or Grimes, so after that, you just have to wait for 30 minutes. So I'm just gonna wait for 30 minutes and then we'll take a shower and then we're gonna go to phase number two. So I'm done taking a shower and when it comes to the shampoo and conditioner, it doesn't matter whatever brand you can use except head and shoulders because usually head and shoulders can strip out colors of hair. So yeah, I, yun lang. when you have colored hair, I wouldn't recommend head and shoulders because it will strip out the coloring hair. So these are the things that you need in phase number two. I, this is gonna be super extra. I know you guys are gonna be like, what the F? So I use a blow dryer. So I have a blow dryer. I have this um, blow dry brush. So it's a blow dryer and a brush in one. I know there's two blow dryers. Uh, let me explain later. I have a curling wand. This is Babyliss 38 millimeters. Then I want chok cha and two clips like this. And then lastly, I use this Olaplex number no. six. This one, this is a bond smoother. So I normally put this before I style my hair. It's like a leave on treatment. So at least while you're styling your hair it's gonna protect you from hair damage and also it's gonna help revive your hair tapos i noticed when i use this it's yung drying time ng hair ko kasi your hair is moisturized and kina close yung pores ng hair mo so it's not gonna grab too much water kasi when your hair is dry or bleached napansin yung parang antagal niya mag dry it's because the pores ng hair mo is open so it grabs water this one helps close it so yeah ayan siya. i just take a small amount because a small amount goes a long way as you can see and then i just put it on the ends of my hair i focus on the ends and then i just work my way up like that and then i just put it all over my hair and you're gonna see pag na blow dry yung hair it's gonna look super smooth talaga like literally as if Parang, ano, it almost feels like your hair is a virgin. Yeah. And then after I apply that, just a little bit goes a long way. You can even feel na parang hindi na split ends yung hair mo. And then I just put that there. And then I take my wet brush. Then I just detangle the hair. So once I have that on, I take my blow dryer. And then I blow dry my hair. I make sure I use no heat. So I'm just gonna be using cool air para at least maging 50 to 60% dry. Because the only time I'm gonna be using heat when it comes to blow drying my hair is this blower brush. So I'm just gonna randomly I'm just gonna I'm just gonna blast my hair with cool air until it's at least 50 to 60% dry. Cause if I use this while my hair is really wet, it's gonna rip off my hair because when your hair is wet, your hair is very brittle. Alright, mom girls. Now I feel like my hair is at least, I would say, 50 to 60% dry. Now, what I do is I suction my hair. I know it's a lot of steps, but it's gonna be super worth it. Now, what we're gonna do, we're gonna be using this brush to make our hair 100% dry and also make it frizz free and super straight. Now, this one, we're gonna be using heat. But dun sa blower, we didn't use heat. And no, not to worry, kasi yung Olaplex number no. 6 will help protect your hair from the heat. It's meant for styling anyway. Like, as you can see, this is now, this section is 100% dry. Like, let me just brush it for you. Look how soft and healthy that is. And then it even adds a curl to ends compared to this side. So, and it feels so silky smooth. It feels super healthy, like no split ends. It almost looks like a hair extension because it's so perfect. Alright, so this is my hair all dried. Like, look how soft 
and silky that is. Like, didn't you? Wait, now let me show you my hair. Look how soft. Look how soft and silky this part is. Akala mo hindi siya na bleach. Like, it almost looks like it's part of my natural hair. Like, it's so soft. I don't use a flat iron. I just use that blower. The blower brush. I call that blower brush, it's like the air fryers of um, hair styling tools because you don't use too much heat. You're just using air and it's gonna make your hair look like parang nagpa flat iron ka. This is my hair 100% dry, super straight. So I'm just gonna curl my hair. This is how I curl my hair. I part my hair into two sections like so. Just clip this part away from my face. So I use four sections. One, two, three, four. So this is first section. I just brush it out. I just brush it out first. So let me just... So this is how I curl my hair. I start in the middle, pull it down, twist it up, and then I pull it down. As I twist it up. The reason why you're doing this, you want to start in the center of your hair. Not in the ends of your hair, because mabilis maluto yung ends ng hair. So if you start at the ends, you're gonna really cook your hair. So you want to start first in the middle of your hair. So you just want to push it down until you reach the end. When you reach the end, you parang ganon. You just want to twist it going up, and then you want to wait until it's like warm to the touch, and. And I also notice if I curl my hair, it makes the color of my hair blend so much better. It doesn't look weird. So yeah, okay. So let me just take her out. And voila, you have like a loose curl. Like that. And then when you blend it later, it looks so nice. All right, so this is my hair. It's curled. It's not blended though, but I first take the Olaplex number no. seven. I like this oil. It locks in the moisture. It makes my hair shiny, and I just take that much. Super on dong. Then I rub it in my hand, and then I focus it on the ends of my hair, just like that. And then I take my hair like that, and then I just run it all over my hair. See, look how nice it is pag na curl. I prefer my hair wavy and curly than straight because, well, this is not curly. I would just say this is like wavy, like loose waves because it looks more romantic and it frames my face better. I prefer it this way and I look more expensive and I look kind of bougie. So, yeah. Tapos, I just leave it as is because throughout the day, luluwag naman yung curls na yan eh. So, like that. Sometimes I flip my hair like that and I just do that. And then I just run my fingers and flip it back, brush my hair like that. So I get my curls, so I just stab my hair, everything is done. I know it's a lot of process. I'll get changed. Let me just get changed and we're gonna go to Alaga Inchang para mapa check natin yung arms natin kung pwede pa siya e botox. So I'll be right back. So I just got in a quick visit sa Alagang Inchang. Nagpa-dyed ako ng underarms para ma-laser off yung mga hair. And also nagpa-RF din ako ng stomach for a skinny waist. You know what I'm saying? And then after this, nag-marking sila kung anong pwedeng i-botox. As of now, onti lang pwede i-botox. Like literally, I just had 50 units. And onting muscles na lang natira. Like almost 
non-existent. So, yun yung mga markings. Yun talaga, yun na natira. Ito. Tsaka ito. Yun na lang. Super on. But so far, that's my arm. Papak. O, oh, sino ka dyan? The process no in-injection niya na ko, hindi ko siya na-film kasi bawal. So, yeah. So, ayan. Na ako mag-barbie arms, pa-fresh. And also, mga girls, meron din silang salon. Like, nail salon. Magpapa-foot spa ako and pedicure. And also, nagpapa-lash extension kayo. Tayo, no? Ako. Ang ganda. Like, look at the vibes. Opa! Oh, diba? Ang galing. Katabi lang yung clinic. Nandiyan lang yung clinic. And then, meron na silang nail salon here. Beauty lounge, actually. Alright, mga curls. So, I'm back. And it's actually the next day. Kasi I don't know. Every time pang nagbabiyahay ako, galing tayo man. Whenever I get home, pagod na pagod na ako, antok na antok na ako. So, today is the next day. And also, thank you so much kay Madam Inch. Ang binigyan niyo ako ng hormones. Ito yung gamit ko ngayon eh. I'm using Estrafam. This is my hormones. And I use Androcor. And also, gamit ko Ferone. Wala, wala siya dito kasi nag-order ako ng Ferone. Pero ito yung itsura ng Ferone. It's not Ferone. It's Ferone. But... Yon, ang lakas maka-fresh talaga. Like, grabe. Magiging fresh ka talaga. Ayan nga mga curls. So, this is a quick update on my Barbie arms. I'm gonna be explaining some pros and cons into getting Barbie arms and what was my experience. The last time nagpa-Barbie arms ako, it was December 14 to be exact. And now, I'm filming this. It's And I'm filming this now. It's already January 22. And also, in case if you're interested in watching part 1, I'll be linking it down below. Yon, yung unang session ko ng Barbie arms. Ang ginawa sa akin was 100 units per arm. So, 100 units dito, 100 units dito. 100 units is like 6,000. 12,000 yung bayad ko noon. 100, 100. Yun yung first session. Sobrang numipis na yung arms ko. Tapos, like, ito na yung arms ko ngayon. Ito na yung shoulders ko. Ayan siya, pag nag-chest out na ako, kita mo na na parang sobrang nipis na niya. Ayan. Ayan. Wala na yung muscle ko dito. Wait, natanggalin ko yung hair ko. So, let me just put my hair on the side. So now, this is all my hair on the side. Ayan siya. Sobrang nipis na niya. Tapos ito yung arms ko ngayon. Partida sobrang tight ng suot ko ngayon. This is a size small, pero medyo maluwag na siya sa akin. Tinan nyo. This is a size small na top. Tapos dati, putok na putok to whenever I wear this. Parang, pero ngayon, ayan na siya. Ang nipis na niya. Super nipis na yung arms ko. May jowa ka lang kasi maka-anime. Parang, baby, ano ba? Ah! That's my arms right now. Ayan na siya. Ganyan na siya kanipis. And I'll show you some before and after. This is my picture before. And this, this is the after result. So, my arms got so small. Alam nyo, mali ko lang mga curls. Hindi ko na-measure yung arms ko before. That was my mistake. But if I were to measure my arms now, I'm not sure kung ano yung size ng arms ko before. But I'm pretty sure. Ang hirap nito pag wala kang kasama doy. It's just 9 inches na lang. Na lang kaliit yung arms ko. 9 inches. Ayan siya. Onting diet na lang. I can almost clap my hands like that. So, wala to lipo. Ano lang to? RF, RF lang. And Barbie arms. And then, nag-hormones na rin kasi ako eh. I'm taking Andocor and Estrofem. Hindi mo na kailangan umanggulo. Promise. Sobrang nipis niya. Like, it's super worth it. So, before kayo mag-Barbie arms, I want you guys to put this into consideration. Here are some pros and cons in getting Barbie arms. Pro, sobrang ninipis yung arms mo. Sobrang magiging feminine. Sobrang Yung mga outfits na dati na insecure ka, masusuot mo na. Dati hindi ko kaya magsuot ng sleeveless na top na crop top. Hindi ko kaya kasi ang manly ng shoulders ko and arms ko ang laki. Ngayon, ang lakas na loob ko. Naka-sleeveless nga lang ako yung pagpunta ko sa alagang inchang eh. And then, naka-high-waisted lang ako eh. Sometimes nga, lumalabas ako, nakabra lang eh. Overall, mga curls, pagdating sa Barbie Arms experience, absolutely 10 out of 10, I would recommend. Here are some cons nga lang. Number one, magkakapasa ka. Like, kasiyempre, it's injection. It's inevitable. Depende yan sa nag inject May mga times, baka magpasa ka. Yun, if natataranta ka sa pasa, yun lang, magpapasa ka. Number two, the first two weeks, super, you're gonna be weak. If mahilig ka mag-handbags, like yung handbags na ganon, girl, 
yung mga Louis Vuitton mo na on the go bag, yung mga Alma bag mo, yung bakla, ibenta mo na dahil. Kasi ang hirap buhatin. Lahat ng handbags ko that I put on my shoulders, I can't carry it anymore. Right now, yung gamit kong bag, ito lang. Pero, hindi siya handbag. Meron siyang sling sa side. So, lagi ako nagsisling bag ngayon kasi hindi ko na kaya magbuhat ng handbag. Makangalay ka talaga, pero hindi naman forever yung ngalay. Like, it'll just be there for like one to two weeks. But, yung mga heavy items na dating kaya kong buhatin, hindi ko na kaya buhatin. So, I have a trolley. So, I use a trolley when it comes to carrying a lot of things kasi hindi ko kaya magbuhat. I cannot carry a handbag for more than one hour. As in, like, if I were to carry a handbag, even actually... Even like 20 minutes na hawak ko lang siya, mamaya makangalay, makangalay na ako tapos magmamanhid na yung arms ko. As in, like magiging Barbie ka talaga, girl. Yung mga daily activities, let's say, magkukuha ka ng sampay sa laundry or whatever, it's so hard. Like, it's so heavy. So, yun. Yun lang. So, yun. Pero alam nyo, when it comes to the pros and cons, the pros outweighs the cons. Kasi this is one of my lifelong insecurities. Lag insecure na insecure ako sa arms ko kasi ang laki ng arms ko. I look like a man. I look bulky. But ever since I got Barbie arms, sobrang tumaas yung confidence ko. Kaya ko mag-sleeveless. As in, like, parang I feel so sexy and I feel amazing. So if your arms is one of your biggest insecurities, this is the best talaga. So, ayan nga mga girls. So, this is a quick update on my Barbie arms. I hope you found this video interesting. I hope you found this video helpful. And also, mga girls, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. And of course, small girls, very important is to stay in the shikap, mother. Hello, Zuki. Bye, guys!